Hey buddies, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Buddy Talk with me, Paul Pilelli, inside my really messy lounge for some reason. I'm with Stray and I left him to take care of our lounge and look what's happened. Stray, explain yourself. What's happening here? I just came back from a party, a 70s party <laughs> apparently with my bell bottoms and you're having a party of your own. What's going on here? There's supposed to be somebody cleaning all of this. Where is she? Our maid, yes. What? I'm gonna clean this up. What? A day without women? You wish. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a, oh, it's a campaign. Do they have a day without cats? Because that would be great. Because then my house wouldn't be such a mess. So, wait, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call uh, Nyla. She's the one who always takes care of this. She's supposed to take care of today's program. Let's give her a call and uh, put it up on the screen. I love technology, by the way. Here we go. Nai? Hi, Paul. Hi, Nai, where are yeah, you? I'm joining the movement of a day without women. Okay. Sorry? Wh what's happening? What is this? I've never no, heard of I'm leaving the show for today. I've got permission from the producer. Why don't you ask her? I, you didn't get my permission. Oh, come on, Paul. This is, have been my dream and long life dream of mine of joining oh this movement. Okay, yeah. Who am I oh. to deny? So, all right, all right. Go, go. But I cannot make it there. I see you tomorrow or see you next show, okay? You do it for you, you do it yourself, okay? Okay, goodbye. <sighs> Even Nye is leaving me. What is this world coming to? I guess we got the day off, Stray. We might as well uh, clean up a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'll uh, brush up on my basketball skills. I haven't done a basketball lesson in a while. So let's give Coach C a call. You know, she'll give me the lesson. Hey, coach. Hey, it's me. You busy today? Up for a basketball lesson? I haven't uh, sharpened up my skills in a while. What? Oh, let me guess. A day without women. Yeah, I kind of heard of it. Yeah, I've heard it from a couple of people so far. Look, can you just drop by here and explain what's going on here? Because I have no idea what's going on. This is my very first time hearing of this. Yes, you're in the area. Thank you. I'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Okay, now we actually have people coming over straight, so let's clean up a little bit. What do you, you have a cold? I hope it's not COVID. All right. Ah, ah, just in time. Come on in. Oh, somebody. Hey, hey. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, where are yeah, you going? Okay. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> you stay right here. Everybody's panicking. You, I, you take responsibility I, 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 for the no. mess that you've made. Oh, my God. <laughs> you sit here in the corner and stay. Oh, oh hey. Oh, oh, hi, my best friend. It's great to see you. Hi. Yeah. Hey, I know. I just came back from a 70s party. <laughs> and he didn't invite us. Yeah, he didn't invite us. Apparently he didn't invite us. Apparently he didn't no invite invitation. Us. That's my Apparently. story and I'm sticking to it. Have a seat, ladies. Sorry All about right. the mess. Yeah. Blame really it on Stray. Here. Stray, I, I thought you were do. the resident oh. Garfield. Um, <laughs> you moved. You kind of you kind of, you kind of yeah. freaked us all out. You took Hello, us, well, caught us off, uh, off guard there a little bit. So, but they were still in the neighborhood, you know? Yeah, exactly. I, so where were you guys off to? This is a, this you look a like day. You're, you look like you're in a little bit... Flustered. <laughs> Flustered. Yeah. I am, what's I am. On? So what's, what's going on? what is a day without women? Oh, like yeah. What's, what's going on here? What is this? How about how, you explain? How, what do you think if there's a day without women? How would that make you feel? Very lonely. Really? Very sad. My house Silence, would be a complete mess. Right? Really? You don't, you're, not, you're not like internally wishing like, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Voice that out, you're everybody. Like, 24 seconds. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have that many guy friends. So. <laughs> There's one, there's one right here, and uh, we spent enough time together. And apparently he was running away from you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we also uh, obviously want to talk about this a little bit. Yes. So, Coach, please, you were going to explain what this day actually yes, so means. Yes, so actually this is a follow-up of a campaign okay. uh, initiated by the female empowerment and female activists oh. in regards to International Women's Day. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's been a campaign in the United States and also in Mexico, and that's what we're doing right now. Okay. It's, it's a campaign for you know for all men and also for women you know to understand our value and whatnot. Seems to me like a date, kind of like to remind everyone. Hey, imagine your world can you for do, one can day you, without women. Right. This is what it's going to be like, and it's it's probably going to be really scary. And it's good that he answers that way. That's good, right? That's good. No, no, What's I, your take on this? I, I think you know I think there there's already some 
places, even in Japan and Korea, where you know where they do the switching thing, yes. like oh, be in my shoes for a day. Like yeah. there's some TV shows that do that, right? right. Like a household, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. husband yeah. and wife. Oftentimes, you know, we just take it for granted that yeah. he or she will always be there, yes. and he or she will always do whatever, whatever. he or she does, right, right? for the family, mm. and then they kind of just take it for granted and then they they, they they forget to say thank you or to even be like yes. grateful. That's a good point. Right? Yes. So I think I think that's the point right. of like a day without women is to kind of remind like what would you do if there if we're not there? But you know what? We also have our friend you know, she can't be here with us, okay. but she's in Hungary, uh, hungry right now, as we have Roro in the line also. We want you to oh, also hey. introduce Roro Dia. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Roro, thank you for joining us. You there? Hello. Hey. 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 Hello. Hi. You're all Hello. the way in Hello. Hungary. How's everybody Lord doing there? We have so much oh, we wish you're, you're all the way in Hungary, and I actually am hungry right now. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Great Don't to have you. <laughs> so, since we have uh, I'm two... I'm so happy to be here, yeah. Great to yeah. be here, obviously. So, since we have both of you here, I'd like to ask you both then. You're both... Three, three women. Three, three, three. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> that's my coach. Bobby. Sometimes I just ignore her. <laughs> He's <laughs> not even... That's it. He's going to be like, okay. Hey. She's going to like, okay, one. I'm out, I'm out of here. <laughs> Strike one. It's going to be a day without me soon. Okay, so I would like to ask you one at a time, perhaps starting with Maroro. Yeah. Um, you are currently in Hungary, but obviously you reside in Indonesia. What is it like for a woman, especially a woman that is not just your regular, you know, playing a simple role of a, of a housewife or your typical kind of job duties, but you in fact have important roles, you and both Marahayu as well. So what is it like for you in this political climate, in this kind of woke climate that we live in as a woman in Indonesia? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. And I think um, uh, empowered in, in some ways, uh, especially with the work that I get to do on a daily basis, the voice that I'm able to have to not only represent women, but to represent society and to fight for certain issues that are uh, very import, uh, important pertaining to uh, our growth, um, whether it be economically, uh, whether it be socially, and also how we can participate in creating a sustainable future. So I think in that regard, uh, I feel quite empowered. Great, yeah. very well And not bringing down each other because we sometimes see that, right? When you see some you know, a woman in that very position. High standards for right. each other. It's just the way it is. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you gotta just realize <laughs> and accept that Unfortunately, the reason why a lot of women don't support other women is right. that we look at each other with a higher standard than we would when we look at guys. Okay, so right. it's not a competitive yeah. nature thing. It's more like, hey, you can do better. Yeah, it's 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 right. just like I think because we put because we grow up with such pressure on ourselves, right. yeah. and then the way we then look at others sometimes like, wait. If we can't do that, then she shouldn't be able to. Right, ah, right, right. It. Okay, that's you got to be in the same pool as me, you know. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you can't have the success all by yourself. Okay. Right. Other than you're trying to motivate yourself, right, she can right, do it, then right, I can right. do it too. And, and, and also, if you know, if somebody does something wrong, mm -hmm. if a woman does something wrong, just you know, then it's like, oh, see, she puts a bad name on all women. Yeah. But when a guy uh, does something wrong, like hey, nobody, that's him, not right. me. nobody <laughs> said exactly. Yeah. Nobody yeah, right. feels the need to say that. Oh, all men are. They're not gonna say no. that. Right. right. But then it's so often that women's. It's like, oh, see, it's like now all women get the okay. bad, you know, rep for it. Okay. Right. So, she, but she said pretty much everything that I have in mind. Okay. Myself. Yeah. Good. Good points brought up. Yeah. Um, we're gonna play a little uh, game called What If. Yeah, and uh, okay. I'm going to uh, give you both the same assignment. Both of you are assigned as, as the Minister Baruro, of Women. Right? Yes, yes. Baruro as well. Yes. And uh, you're both the Minister of Women and Child Empowerment. Mm -hmm. oh. So basically, we're going to give you a couple of issues, and you would give us your take on these issues and what you think needs to be tackled or what kind of... I wanted to do number two and three. Progressive steps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Coach That's C, like very Coach C can take me. part in this. As well. you, of course. She already knows. Yeah, I know what I'm going to okay. say. The she first one. Fun. We're going we're gonna to go uh, with Maroro on the first one. Okay. Female genital mutilation well, or female circumcision. There's areas in Indonesia where this is still being done yes. against It's like a culture wishes. for them. Correct. Right? So uh, this is an issue that has made the news uh, as of late as well. Oh, so God. you're the Minister of Women and Child Empowerment. What would be your uh, step, your progressive steps towards this issue? If I were to be uh, <laughs> uh, the, the Minister of Women or uh, of, of ch uh, Child Empowerment, etc., I think I would... Um, 
try to take a, a, a change, you know, I, I would change this, this belief system in some way um, it, that works for certain communities, right? So focusing on areas where this is still being done, how we can, um, uh, you know, um, socialize uh, where this shouldn't be done, for example, uh, in, in certain cases where we create capacity building programs uh, and, and how we can communicate to uh, whether it be local leaders, uh, you know, that have some sort of influence. Uh, we'll talk, it talk also to the current, uh, whether it be the governor or the uh, mayor uh, of, of a certain region and, and really just understanding how we can uh, tackle uh, issues such as this. That, uh, that is a very tricky issue as well. Yes, because you're so tricky. Starting yeah. to deal with I, my I faced really it. Challenging. I faced it during my <laughs> right? time in Parliament. There I, you go. Okay. Yeah. I've been in rooms with men in Parliament, in the House of Rep, who believe in supporting yeah. female genital men. Because what was this their is like a long standing what belief, was their right? On? It's just, it's their belief. Yeah, it's ah, a long standing okay. belief, and it's, it's very hard it's to It's their belief, it's part of the culture. It's right, not just yeah. culture for them, it's part of their faith. Right. right. Yeah. So if somebody yes. comes along even with like, you know, uh, scientific, you know, data or whatever, you know, for them it's like, well, why are you telling us how right. to do our faith? Exactly. Or how right. That's how I faith. believe. That's what yeah. we believe. Right. And so that it gets very difficult. Yeah. You yeah, know, going nobody can tell hole. you how you should. Yeah, right. yes, going you can down present all hole. of the medical yes. facts that you want. But, but for that money, if it comes faith. down to their faith, right. nobody can yes. tell you how to... You know, right. right. <laughs> Let's move on to our final topic, my final issue here. If you were minister, child-free. Wow, this is in yeah. a lot of talk about yeah. this decision to be child-free. I personally don't understand why it's such a big issue, but I can see that it is a big issue yeah. for some people being child-free. They're being attacked on the internet. What's because going on? again, again, it's kind of to do with the popular belief system. Okay. Because a lot of people, if you are a religious, and I'll put that in quotes, a religious person, or you you are following certain beliefs, right? Yeah. Uh, especially <laughs> the Western religious uh, beliefs. Uh, you know, when I mean Western religious beliefs, I'm talking about, you know, uh, Judaism, Muslim, Christianity. They mostly believe that children are gifts from God. Yeah. And that it is your role as a human being to procreate, yeah. right? In okay. some cases, it's like that. So when somebody says, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have any children, for some, I think they have this automatic response where you are refusing the gift from God. Right. You're refusing to do your role yes. as a woman yeah. or a man, or you're refusing to... Uh, continue the family line. But well, let's make this clear, though. This is not abortion. This is a choice not no, to a have choice children. not to right. have children. Or what if somebody can't have children? Does that mean they're ignoring? See, but at least they're trying. See, that's that's uh, what. Yeah, they, you okay. see what I mean? You yes, see what I mean? I got it. It's the mindset. However, as if we're talking about as minister of mm -hmm. uh, women empowerment and children protection uh, in Indonesia, it would be mainly one is education. Education, okay. especially talking about sexual rep reproductive health, mm -hmm. okay? It's so important. Sexual reproductive health, whether you believe in extramarital relations or not, or whether you believe in premarital relations or not, or whether you believe in the sanctity of marriage, number one, we have to do it because it's already out there. We know that even children as young as 12, 13-year-olds are having free sex, mm -hmm. okay? so. In order for us to also cut down on the, you know, the HIV AIDS level in Indonesia, yeah. we need to talk about sexual reproductive health education. That's okay. number one. Mm. Why are we talking about that? Because obviously it's to do with it's related. All, of, all of this. You know, when, sure. when you start to know, you know, okay, there's consequences to all of this, you know, then it's to do with also a woman's body, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And this is where it gets really controversial and sensitive because some people actually don't believe that a woman has a right over her own body. That is what we faced when we were, uh, you know, pushing for the sexual abuse eradication bill. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll be right back after this. Sometimes we can't see ourselves that people like a day without colors because I think women are brave enough to show her emotions her 
to express uh, how she feels, you know, like uh, gentleness, happiness, or even anger. Women is, uh, is so easy for women to do so. The hari tanpa perempuan <laughs> mustahil. Karena nggak akan mungkin uh, saya dari mulai terbitnya matahari sampai terbenamnya matahari sampai terbit lagi itu tanpa kehadiran seorang perempuan nothing sih. A day without women um, kayaknya dunia tidak akan berjalan sih. Karena menurut gue tanpa wanita laki-laki nggak bisa apa-apa. <laughs> Urusan dapur, urusan rumah tangga, semuanya segala aspek itu meliputi wanita. Jadi menurut gue, A Day Without Women itu mustahil. Kalau saya memang, uh, ibu saya sih kadang kalau uh, yang nyiapin makan, terus nanya apa kabar, terus benar-benar kalau tanpa seorang perempuan mungkin salah satu di dalam saja ibu saya, da, itu akan sangat kosong. Ma, I love you. Istri, terima kasih. Woman, strong. Terima kasih dan I love you very much. All right, welcome back to Buddy Talk, everyone. And joining me this episode, we're going to continue our conversation with two young and very prominent women in politics, Mbak Rahayu Saraswati and Dia Roro. Um, obviously, right now, a lot of uh, women empowerment is done and uh, can be reached via social media. Yeah, social yeah. media is very helpful Absolutely. for uh, issues such as this. However, there are people who do share a lot of information on social media. Mm -hmm. And there are mixed opinions on this about what or how much people should share on right. social media. Now, what do you both think about how the public, how the public should respond to social media users who share their experiences on when they were victims, right. uh, for example, or right. any, on anything, on sexual violence, yeah. any sort of experiences. I would like to say something about this because, simply because I, I have been both supported okay. and criticized okay. How so? for sharing so much. Right. Mm. The reason why I share it is, is because I know when I see other people sharing their experiences, I know I'm not alone. Yeah. I okay. know that it's okay to share because then it's like, Oh, you know, we can share from each other's experiences yes. and, and how we can empower each other because, again, we're not alone and, and also because if somebody else can get through it, yeah. then I can get through it. Okay. So, and I've been, because I've, I've been, you know, I've been a victim of sexual uh, violence, I've been a victim of uh, sexual, uh, you know, harassment online. Uh, I, I, and I've shared about this, you know, and I, I've, I've gone through the process and I also share about mental health issues because I also am a survivor of major depressive disorder and anxiety disorders and I'm okay with sharing that and in Indonesia people are not used to right. yeah. having personal things talked about publicly it's because taboo, they, right? it's still taboo yeah. because again they think that Oh my gosh, like you're actually opening up a can of worms that you shouldn't be <laughs> telling these to people. Yeah. They can use it against you. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, no, actually, if I'm completely open about it, nobody can use it against mm -hmm. me because I'm fully open right. and fully just transparent. And actually, it's been humbling to know, and I've gotten so many messages. Let's put something in front. Let's put empathy yeah. before judgment. Let's yes. put empathy and try to see perspectives from other people's, you know, the way other people's perspectives. Because I think there are some things that, you know, when we share, we hope it will shed light in a way that nobody, oh, I never thought about it that way before, you know? And, and, and I think that's that's the power of that. So, so for me, I think it's from both sides. I want to say to, you know, all victims out there, don't, don't feel... You know, the judgment, the haters, forget it. You're, whether, you, yeah. whether you share or you don't share, They'll there will be there. always yeah. be exactly. haters, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but if you feel like you want to share because, hey, maybe somebody can get something out of this or, or maybe they'll get empowerment from others in the community and say, you know what, I didn't know you were going through that and I'm here if you want to talk. If you feel like you need to reach out to people that way, go for yeah. it. And, to all the haters out there, like, hey, less hate, more love, 
because you never know when you're going to be in that it's position. Be you. Exactly. If that's ever, I mean, we, we pray that's never going to be you, but if you're ever in a position and you're tr you want to reach out for help and you can't do it any other way but to reach out through social media, you don't want to be in that position where you're getting all the hate. And exactly. haters are always going to hate at the and end haters. of the day, you know what I mean? No. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds yeah. familiar. <laughs> so, so uh, time for a buddy challenge. We're gonna, if things are getting a bit serious, we're gonna lighten the mood, oh, okay. of mood a little bit. We want you guys to guess, because since you're both political women figures, we'd like you to guess these films or series, the title of them, by showing you some of these clips. Let's have a look at it together. Prime Minister. This is my duty. It's ambition that's got and to this, my... not ambition. And the rest of us, me, the children, we can all go to hell. Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Shoulders back, tummies in. <laughs> she heads the most hated government this country has known. The knives are out. We can't possibly buckle at the first sign of difficulty. No one is saying you have to buckle. Yes, the medicine is home. That's a classic. That's the Iron Lady. Okay. Yes. So this oh, is it's talking about of... Margaret Thatcher. Correct. Okay. Right. Margaret Thatcher and her performance uh, there was amazing, yeah. I thought. She Even Margaret exactly Thatcher like herself. Her. Yeah. You know, her as the Iron Lady. As the Iron Lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's okay. really embodied. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Have you seen yeah. the Iron Lady? So I think I've come into one conclusion from all of this, which is the fact that I need to watch more TV <laughs> and more movies. <laughs> So you gotta your honey one, that'll be nice. This is horrible. <laughs> well, that's okay. It means that you're too busy no, to be watching. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's too busy to be watching, but she's okay. gonna be jotting these down, <laughs> right? She's gonna right. be jotting these down. She's Literally, like, she's yeah. like on my watch list. Two, <laughs> no. two TV series okay. and like this movie is definitely on my watch list. Okay. Yeah. Tarcher is such a. She's a, a, a very powerful woman. Even she would not die, you know, bow down to the queen at that time and whatnot. And so do you think you share any similarities with her, especially through your political you know, journey right now? Let's go to Maroro first. That's so interesting. You guys ask really interesting questions. So I think there are certain situations where you do have to step up, um, you know, step up above and rise above certain quote-unquote norms that are usually agreed upon to create some kind of a change or some kind of a step forward, right? And I think being a woman and being, uh, again, a member of the youth, especially now within the system, um, I think one of the biggest challenge as a woman is that people uh, people don't really take into account what you have to say in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. In the beginning, they think, oh, you don't really understand much. You're still young. You know, uh, do you, you, you don't have enough experience. I think this is actually one of the biggest challenges that I faced in the beginning of my career um, as a member of parliament. Let's uh, go to our final clip here. Have a look at it first. This race a long time ago. Crowley hasn't had a primary challenger in 14 years. He's taken three million dollars per cycle. He's going to tell me I'm small, that I'm young. I'm inexperienced. My mom cleaned houses growing up. I never really saw myself going into politics. Americans aren't asking for a lot. They're just asking for politics. Okay, this one, can you guess the name? I'm going to ask you first. Oh, well, obviously it's her name, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one is Knock Down the is House. It? Oh, and it, it features. Okay. It's yeah, a, yes, yes, so there's one that you've seen. Yeah, I don't there you know. go. Yes, That's I good. Okay, we'll give it to her. Uh, the reason I ask you is because many many people have actually dubbed you as the Indonesian oh, Alexandria. Oh, gosh. Oh, so, gosh. Wow. Uh, yeah. Agree or not? Just one answer. Yeah, agree. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, yes! There you go. <laughs> all right, unfortunately, we are all out of time here on Buddy Talk, and I would like to thank our guests for today. Thank you so much for coming by again. So it's so much. great to yes. see you. Stray was very happy to see you, by the way. A regular, yeah. right? In your house, <laughs> in your lounge. <laughs> and of course, joining us all the way from Hungary, uh, Maroro, thank you so much as well for taking the time out. I know you've got a flight to catch, so have a safe one, and we hope to see you thank back you here. Thank you so much, Maroro. Thank you so much. See you, right. Maroro. Thank you, Gucci. And Thanks for making it happen today. Definitely. And not right. going to clean your house. All right. I'm going to go with my son right now. <laughs> On behalf of the entire crew here at Buddy Talk, my name is Paul Polelli. Don't forget to tune in every Saturday and Sunday night only on C Today. Signing off for now, we'll let the boys take it home. Who is something about you?
just something about the way she moves. I can't figure it out. Something about her. Who is something about kind of woman that wants you but don't need you? I can't figure it out. Something about.